Hi, I'm Matt Marvolio, Dean of the Performance Division at Berklee College of Music. And I'm with Debbie Cavalier today, who's the Dean of Continuing Education at Berkeley. And we're going to talk about online teaching. Yes. So, Debbie, how long have you been teaching online? For about five years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been teaching music to students all over the world through Berkeley Music, Berkeley's Online Extension School. And um, I'm very surprised at how effective teaching on online can be. What courses have you taught online? I've taught primarily Music Theory 101, though I've been involved in the development of just about all 80 of our courses. We teach music production, music business, basic music skills. Um, what, what are you teaching online? I'm teaching ear training, and I run an improv course. And, uh, you know, I've been doing that for about five years, too. This semester I'm teaching two sections, and it is quite different from teaching in the classroom for a number of reasons. I, I think one that I see is that the students can actually have more time with the material, especially we use videos and those kinds of things, which are, are really helpful. Yes. How yes. about you? Yes, I, I found that the community aspect was a real surprise, that students help each other, they listen to each other's assignments, they critique each other, they spend a lot of time together online, um, and the teacher's you know, central to the whole experience as well, but the community aspect really seems to help the learning experience. Mm -hmm. How do the students seem to react to things? Uh, is it differently, I mean, um, in terms of assignments? I find that they have actually more time with me because they can email me, they can get in touch with me more than students in the classroom. Yes, yes, the response can be quite immediate and students who maybe are having trouble can get back on track rather than waiting till their class meets a week later. Um, yeah, the, the response from the students has been very positive. In the online school, the students I found are, are older students, primarily mm -hmm. 25 to 55. and really What would you tell students who are doing online stuff? I mean, how could they get the most out of uh, the online experience? <laughs> That's a really good question. I think um, being very self-disciplined is very important for this. It's very easy to just ignore the computer and not log on and let the weeks go by. It's important to stay engaged every week. And then it's like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm, you know, I'm back like four or five weeks. Yes. So you really have to keep the pace. It's very important to keep the pace. It really is important mm -hmm. to build it in, yes. And I find, you know, the online modality, even on campus, we're starting to do some stuff. And um, I think it really helps the whole network of knowledge of being able to go over things, rehearse things in a number of different ways. Yes, yes. Have you found any suggestions for ha keeping students engaged with the whole online experience? Um, I know you've, you've established some assignment uh, Parameters? Well, I think it's like, you know, um, keeping them engaged with MP3 files, doing a lot of different kinds of practice routines. Mm -hmm. I think that helps a lot. Yes. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you, Matt.